if you type in this seed, then you're going to find some very particular generation, and that generation is actually not too incredibly far from respawn, because you just need to add yourself about a hundred blocks off in this direction, and then you'll find something that's a uh, very very odd because when we get to these cores right here when we hit ourselves straight the way down from here then we could eventually see a trial chamber but then we could also see an ancient city that spawn pretty much right in the middle of each other and i don't mean like one on top of the other i literally mean right in the exact same place because if we just hit ourselves off say like right around here or something like that nothing seems too out of the ordinary yet but then when i get a little bit of night vision on me that we can see that there's a big old trial chamber wall right behind the ancient city portal yeah an entire trial chamber is spawning pretty much in the exact same spot as an ancient city in almost every single way meaning in several several of these cases we can see a lot of very very tight-knit spaces because trial chambers and strongholds and things like that tend to try to generate with blocks surrounding it in many cases but there are certain areas where that obviously is not the case such as like what we're seeing right here and such as other places around the ancient city it also kind of tells us how the micro full generates because the ancient city managed to generate in first but then the trial chamber generates over the ancient city meaning a lot of the ancient city generation actually gets cut off in a lot of places so there are lots of benefits to having two mega structures and mega challenging structures in one place but there are a few downsides here and there such as the fact that you're getting like probably 10% less ancient city than you would normally get but if you do ignore that then yeah this this trial in uh, more cases than one is way more challenging than you might than you might have originally thought because now while on top of having to deal with all the trials you find inside the trial chambers you also have to be aware of like skulk shriekers actually accidentally spawning in uh, in worms around the place yeah just like right there just like wh where I was walking right there like I I I accidentally without even knowing trick ticked off at a, a, a skull shrieker without me even noticing meaning if you're not careful inside the structure inside the trial chamber you are gonna have way more problems than usual like seriously seriously way more problems i've seen plenty of like these skulk veins and skull catalysts around the place but i've not seen any shriekers that spawn inside the structure i have a suspicion that they do but i've just not seen one yet and if we go back into spectator then we could really see how like these two mega structures really coincide with one another in a very very accidental setting and again considering all the additional deep slate you're gonna have to deal with that means that in the case you like want to fly in and fly out with elytras and that's gonna be made so much more difficult now considering all the additional blocks around the place but again from the looks of things probably around about two thirds or maybe even 75 percent of the uh the ancient city is pretty much untouched it's pretty much just from here all the way back there with this huge huge wall of tough bricks we can see right here and surprisingly enough the trial chamber and ancient city has access from the surface so in the case you don't want to mine any blocks down into this one structure then you actually have that that luxury because if you just head yourself off in this direction for a little bit head yourself down a little bit and then we are immediately inside the trial chambers and then right below that we are immediately inside of the ancient city but yeah in general this city is wacky check it out for yourself but for now thanks for watching and i'll see you all later